Did a lot of shit just to live this year a lifestyle. We came straight from the bottom to the top. My lifestyle. Lie down. I'm living life like we can't own this on the beginning. I'm on the top of the mountain, but when I'm clouds, the next day we can't get. The song slept. I'm alright, money. That song is hard. Ow. Oh my god, are you okay? I have, oh. a, I have a dent in my shin. A dent in the shin. Uh, a dent in my shin. <laughs> all right, I'm okay. I'm just gonna we're just gonna do off the off the rip. Off the rip, okay? Okay. Off the rip, okay. Okay, so I'm going to Queso. Oh no. R and R. Oh wait, I know, okay. So I'm gonna read some lyrics and you're gonna tell me what artist you think this is by. Okay? Okay. I fucked her, then washed off my dick with the curtains inside of the Phantom. Ta- take them boys to school. Swagonometry. <laughs> Swagonometry? <laughs> Bitch, I you that. That's a bumblebee. I miss you. I want to kiss you. I want to lick you. Ooh. Pubic hair. She's sucking me. <laughs> Put me in a coma. I nut on that fish on my sofa. Just a few. <laughs> Who do you think that is? What the fuck? I don't even know what song that is. Um, just think just, of, I think, rappers that just have just ridiculous fucking lyrics, I guess. Eminem? No. No. I was the only like... One it's, that it's, says, thugger, it's Thugger. It's Young Thug? It's Young Thug, yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Do another one. All right. I'm not sure you're going to even get this one. Or like the art. I don't know. Maybe. I'm her big dog and she's my cat. And she'd love it from the back. <laughs> Call her green because she, she on go. Dude, these are such cat in the hat fucking rhymes, dude. I wore glasses because I know these boys watching. They mad because they cannot stop me. Boy stopping is not an option. I can help it because I got it. <laughs> Don't waste time, because I got six watches talking Rolex. Yeah, I bought them. <laughs> now I'm at the top. Started from the bottom. Um, can you give me, like, a, is it newer or older? It, it, it would be, this guy's popular older. It would be, like, 2015, 16, 17, he was really popular. I can't believe that's older. Fuck. 2015, well, older 16, in comparison to now. 15, 16, 17. Um, Monty. <laughs> <laughs> it was rich. That was Rich Homie Quan. No shit. Um. <laughs> uh, I think that's good. Just two is probably no, no, I, good. I have some for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm so geeked up. I might fuck a condom. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? All right. Here's one. You look just like my rich auntie. Auntie, <laughs> she was the first person wearing blondie. I used to want to fuck my auntie. <laughs> now that sounds like fucking thug. That is. It's oh, it thug. is. Yeah. Oh no shit. Yeah. <laughs> he has some weird shit, dude. Okay, here we go. This one's old, old. You know why my hands are so numb? Because my grandmother sucked my dick and I didn't come. Smacked this whore for talking crap. So what if she's handicapped? Is that Eminem? Close. The bitch said Bizarre couldn't rap. I fucking hate you. I'll take your drawers down and rape you while Dr. Dre videotapes you. That's not Eminem? It says... Well, That's Eminem. It has to be because the person, they quoted it, the worst member of D12, but he wasn't the worst. Maybe that's like ironic or something. Yeah, it's Eminem, 100%. It's gotta be. 
That's got to be. That sounds like a hip, <laughs> Eminem rap. <laughs> Dude, what's that? There. <laughs> Got a duck dick on your period. <laughs> you can't say no. I ain't hearing it. <laughs> Wait, say it again. Got a duck dick on your period. <laughs> duck dick. <laughs> you can't say no. I ain't hearing it. Oh, he means duck like duck lips. Oh, Got are you changing? Are you just doing the same artists? No, these are different artists. It was different than the other two. You just mm-hmm. okay. He recently got a little more popular. Is this an old head? No, this one isn't. Oh, man. Oh, it's Durkio. Yeah, it's a little Dirk. Dude, he has a fucking weird one. He says, uh, my daughter's already bad and she's only five. That's weird. That's fucking weird, <laughs> that's dude. Weird. He has a lyric that says that. It's not, that's, yeah. Oh. Oh, you're actually going to, you're going to get, you're going to get this one. Uh, I'm in the ocean getting shark pussy. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Fuck, we were laughed about that before. Um... I'm in the shark. Get, I'm in the ocean getting shark pussy. Oh, that's Wayne, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what is uh, that? was the whole. Uh, dude, that song was stuck in my head the other day. It's, um, what is it? <clears throat> oh, God. Well, dude, there was a certain part that was stuck in my head when he's like, uh, um, tampons and manure. Um, what was you Make the... a bitch root for a la- Oh, wait, like yeah. a grua. Yeah. That's I'll... a hard bar, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I got one more. I got one more. Okay. Oh, no. Um, healed your mans. You keep on talking. Better get that shit in blood. Give my shorty them a dub when they go walk inside this club. <laughs> Hit his little ass with that switch. I bet that switch switch up his new. <laughs> I've said that many times. Fuck the ops inside my city. Liberal, put them in the mud. <laughs> you can't come back to your hood, huh? <laughs> Uh, oh, it's a feature. It, okay, well, you're not. I don't even think you know who this rapper is, but it's, the feature is a very popular person. So, who is who's the rapper? He's in jail right now. He's in jail. Fetty? No, but the person who rapped this on his song, it's a feature. So, oh. Oh, I don't know if he wrote it or the guy wrote it, but what was the person? The feature or the person? The the whoever rapped that. That was a little dirt. Oh, okay. but it was on a Pooh Shiesty song. Oh, gotcha. Now he had the best dude. He has the best fucking uh, dude. This wordplay. I'm sure you heard the song back in blood. He's like, "Poo shiesty, that's my dog." But poo, you know, I'm really shiesty. <laughs> um. Okay. Wait. 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 I got. <clears throat> back in blood. Okay. It's actually a hard ass song. Um. <clears throat> Ah, uh, fuck. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Pregnant pussy is the best you can get. Fucking a bitch while her baby sucks your dick. What? It's an old. That's group. illegal. It sounds like no fucking a bitch while her baby. Like, I know. I'm <clears throat> saying that the, the, that rap <clears throat> just sounds like that should be illegal to write. Oh, well, that was UGK. What? Yeah. How long ago was that? I uh, know that had to have been before he got married. <clears throat> I <clears throat> imagine so. Um, uh, imagine your mother-in-law hears that. <laughs> she got a li- oh, you'll know this one. She got a light-skinned friend, look like Michael Jackson. Got a dark-skinned friend. She got a like- light-skinned man, look like, like Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Got a dark-skinned friend, look like Michael Jackson. <clears throat> uh, oh, should we do the intro? Yeah, I want to find one, one, one more good one. Um, <clears throat> someone that let you know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> The problem is a lot of these are crazy, but I don't even know who these rappers are. I know. Sometimes they don't have them uh, quoted. (laughs) 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 Okay, come on. Give me one more good one. Okay, I can just do the intro. All right, do the intro. Ooh, welcome back to Stop Just Run Lost Table episode 142. 142. Uh, first mm. and foremost, I want to thank our sponsors, starting with Aperture Oceans, bringing ideas and ads to life. And I also want to shout out Liv Stallion, a wellness fitness page startup, ATLT's own brand of body auto. And I just saw an ad on his Instagram page. So I guess they have reallocated some funds. <laughs> they have 
came back. They have filed Chapter 11 and did some restructuring. So they are back. And also want to shout out his dog trainer, Synergy Canine, um, and his coach for Puppy Plyometrics. Um, <laughs> I don't even have to do that. It's just hilarious. All right, James. Uh, got moles. If you have moles in the Puget Sound area, servicing northern Seattle to southern Tacoma, they are your premier mole exterminator using chemical free methods. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and uh, Atlas aeration making your lawn look like my pubes, and that'll pretty much do it. So, oh, I just uh, want to say, okay, I did want to, I did want to start with something, and that's cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so something I and we've talked about insider trading and insider trading and some of the. Just politics, how fucking corrupt they're, how easy it is to make. Okay, so I went, right after we had this conversation, I saved this, and I completely forgot about it until now. So I don't know if you knew this, but this is very recently, as in a few days ago, Nancy Pelosi just made a buttload of money investing just weeks, weeks before at very exceptional timing, buying NVIDIA shares. I and saw she, this. And she made, okay, she made $4 million dollars. <clears throat> in a couple days. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You know what's interesting? They used and, to- and in the article, it says, Nancy Pelosi has made her yearly salary in just a few weeks after placing an exceptionally well-timed trade buying NVIDIA. Wow. <clears throat> Isn't that, that something? You know what's funny? There was actually a bot. There was an entire Twitter page that every time Nancy Pelosi made a trade because it's public stock, mm-hmm. it's public information, that it would post what she traded so people would want to follow her trades or whatever, and this is back before Elon Musk on Twitter, Twitter took the page down. Yeah, I'm sure. And they couldn't have any Because it's fucking for- insider trading. <laughs> Dude, Are I- you telling me with all that money at stake, you're not in a meeting, someone's like, hey, buy this By right now. By the way. Yeah. No, okay, no, what's fucking crazy is like, what is the salary of a president? Like 300,000. Everyone who comes out of office is worth like 30 million. All of them, all of them. It's like, they're all, Nancy Pelosi's worth fucking hundreds of millions of dollars, probably. How, how does no one do anything? It's crazy. It's nuts. Because they have all the fucking power. It's crazy. Oh, great power. Krebs. You know? Absolute power. Krebs, absolutely. Uh, today, we have something. Uh, we lost our trash bins. Yeah, they're gone. Uh, we have the serial numbers. <laughs> we have what? We have the serial numbers. <laughs> <laughs> we do have the serial numbers. We're going to put up fucking wanted posters. Dude, isn't that crazy that like... Like... The wind's bin, so powerful. No, I was going to say bins have like serial numbers. <laughs> I know. Like, it's, it's fucking a plastic. Purposes. Like I know, but like, what the fuck? Why is it when I thought of the wanted poster, I thought of it like open with like its tongue out? Like you know, what I want to know because <laughs> it, it okay. If you think about it, it's kind of it, it. It's it's actually fucking genius if you think about it. It's like <laughs> it's kind of like the same thing. It sounds stupid, but it's like people factories who make shopping carts mm-hmm. make buku bucks, absolute crazy money, and it sounds fucking stupid, but it's kind of like that because everyone uses it, everyone needs it, every store, whatever the fuck. I'm saying. Just simple shit like that. They make tons of fucking money, and it's fucking crazy. How do I, I'm so lost. Simple things that sound stupid. <laughs> like, like a garbage bin. Like a garbage bin. A shopping cart. Fucking just, just little things like... No. Little things oh. like that. I'm just saying ridiculous things make just an insane amount of money that you completely overlook and don't even think about. Someone's like, got to do it. Like, I'm saying the, the urinals that you see in the bathrooms, they're almost all, almost all, not all, almost all the same fucking manufacturer... And it's crazy. fucking crazy. It's nuts. It's crazy when you think about it. There's there's some guy who's like a billionaire from elevator buttons or something. There's shit. a guy who has hundreds of millions of dollars from the 90s when he made the pet rock. <laughs> and it's fucking crazy. It's like, what, what? how do you, how do we get on that? Huh? You don't, you just, you wake up on it. So you just wake up and that's fucking like, oh, shit. What the fuck do we do about our bins? Like, do, is that something you like knock on? Like, what? Is, uh, I, well, maybe the home, maybe the HOA here has a lost and found or something. Well, we've already gotten like you know. Eight, okay, eight I'm telling you what it was. A lost and found. I'm telling you what it was. There's someone's hat. Remember that we've came because we have so many windstorms over here. There's been bins fucking way down the cul-de-sac, <laughs> and what happened to ours is probably it just followed the same path and ended up fucking in another neighborhood. <laughs> Why do I imagine like the bins of little knives and shit? And they're like, dude, they're fucking. They're, they probably, you know what? They probably just like because the wind was pushing them hard. They're probably just rolling on their fucking wheels, heading down, <laughs> heading down that way. They're on the highway, merging with traffic and <laughs> so, you know, How crazy. much has a garbage bin cost us if we have to get other replacements? I don't know. I've never lost one. Let me just find out. Dude, you know what's going to be fucking crazy is I posted that on, fa- on Facebook because there is a community group where we live. <laughs> I posted that. Dude, imagine like ours is like responsible. Like it hits the, the fucking taco time sign. It falls down, starts a fire. Oh my dude. God. Seattle.gov has garbage rates for the bins. $500. 
That's uh, not five. No, I don't fucking I'm not. Wait, how many gallons is ours? Ours is the biggest gallon. So 96? Yeah. How much is it? Oh, wait, that's how much it is for garbage a month. That's not the bin. Uh, garbage per month is only like 65 bucks or something. Well, that one says 126 a month. I'd be like half our utilities. And just I don't know. I don't know. It, this is this is saying services though, like picking it up. I don't fucking know. <clears throat> Actually, now that we're on the podcast, I just should see if anyone replied. What? Okay, what? depending on what state you live in, because this isn't current locations. Is how much does a garbage disposal replacement cost? Normal range from two hundred dollars to six hundred twenty-five dollars. How much does it cost them to make fucking five bucks? That's fucking Dude, crazy. Someone commented. So this is what I posted on the page. I said, yeah, I just realized that my trash and recycling bins were blown away from the crazy wind. If anyone knows where they could have gone, please message. Uh, Avengia said, yeah, they do that. Check down wind two to three blocks and in water <laughs> reservoirs. Good luck. <laughs> they do that? Is that common here? Yes. We came home and like, oh, someone's garbage bin in someone else's yard. It just, they're everywhere. The thing is, Florence, we never had this kind of wind. Because the mountains are right here. Right there. Dude, we're six minutes up the street. It's that much different in wind. Why do you think there's more wind? And we didn't have. I'm saying I think the wind has gotten has gotten bigger. You think the wind's gotten bigger? Yeah, really. You know, on we're right at the foot of the mountain. <sighs> well, maybe those those little clouds with the lips are really where we though. are. Has just <laughs> it, it, it's it's created. <laughs> <laughs> It's created. No, like a, a little, a like point. no. It's been, it's been more wind in they this area because it. it's coming between the mountains and in this little bowl area we're in. It just, it, it seems to be more wind, and that's not a fact. Every time we come home, it's fucking windy eight times. Out of ten. Claw is a plateau. I'm saying we've lived here before. Though. It is a plateau. It is. It is. A pl- do, do you know what I'm talking about on the maps though? The little clouds. Yeah. Go, yeah. When they have their I lips know. Out. I know. Well, there's I some know. dick sucking lips, dude, on those clouds. Dude, they always gave them fat lips. You know what I'm talking about? Those clouds that are going in like kids' <sighs> books and shit. No, like like on a, like an antique globe, like the fucking. I know what you're talking about, but I never or like it's attention. on a map and in the corners. I never paid attention to that. They they draw they draw yeah, a little I know cloud they, with the lips. I know that, yeah. And it's going, <clears throat> but, well, but but they ha- okay. Like if I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna go, <sighs> but they have like bits for emphasis. <laughs> yeah, they emphasize so, those lips, so dude. it shows. Oh, there's wind. D- yeah, they're blowing, dude. Those clouds are fucking. Is there a cloud fetish? I want to know. What? There's got to be. Well, there's a balloon fetish. Balloons? This, no, I watched on My Strange Addictions. This guy who was in love with balloons, and he would fuck them, and he would rub them, and he would. He had like a whole room of them. And he's like, yeah, they get me sexually aroused. I have a and fetish. He, bag, of- he bagged like 100 balloons. Jared Stone, I have a fetish about clouds. Now How I do you have a fetish of- if you can't actually touch them? You just look at them and get turned on? I guess. Cloud fetish thread? Oh my god! What? It's just clouds, cloud fetish. Oh my god! <laughs> From the Dementia Support Society. Whoa! Fetish. Oh, there's a weather fetish. Some people have the fetish to get sexually excited by the weather. Wow, man! You see that cloud over there? Damn! I would like to masturbate on that. Do you remember when you thought clouds were like fluffy and you could like grab them? Yeah, yeah. I always yeah. wanted to put my hand out the window of a plane and like yeah. grab it and put it like a bubble beard. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, something that happened yesterday that I want to talk to you about. Like, uh, I was driving up to uh, up uh, through through Seattle. You know, it's a little congested there. A lot of, especially rush hour traffic right after work. And um, do you ever get cut off by like? What I don't understand the nerve of people. So I'm going on the Fremont Bridge there, and that bridge. It's like three lanes, but they're like tiny like your mirrors are about to touch each other yeah going down and this guy doesn't have his lights on i see him and like his like trunk is to like where my front wheel is right that's so he's he starts to like merge over obviously doesn't see me so i'm sitting there I'm like oh shit oh shit oh shit so i obviously have to tell him that you're about to fucking hit me because i can't go over so i just do a little boop on the horn and then he goes, whoa, and then corrects himself, right? Yeah. Okay, no harm done. He goes over to the right lane. I pass him, and he's flipping me off. Yeah, that sounds about right. Why? I didn't do anything. Flip I'm him not- back off. Huh? Flip him off back. 
I'm just saying, why, why are you pissed? I, I'm the one who Exactly. Fucking- that's why I flip people off back. Because I'm like, I didn't do anything. You're a fucking idiot. That's why yeah. your car's all fucked up. That's why you got beat up at Dairy Queen. <laughs> it was at Wendy's. <laughs> you got beat up at Wendy's. I didn't get beat up. I got in a fight. It was a good fight. It was a good fight. <laughs> dude, you came home. I was like, what the fuck happened to you? God, dude, I was, and I got my Frosty, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> they served me Did after that. Did you ever that. tell that story on the podcast? No, I don't think so. Tell, tell us the story. Well... Buckle in. I was fucking driving because I was semi-employed. And so I was driving to go get a Frosty in the middle of a fucking weekday because it sounded good. No, it was after I went to Dickie's for the fucking okay. interview. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so... You're all I, on a high from the interview? I'm like, yeah, I nailed that at a fucking... I deserve a at, Frosty. At a borderline just a hair above McDonald's job. <laughs> and so I fucking, I'm going to Wendy's to get a Frosty and this fucking dude is fucking honking at me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Anyways, and so it was traffic. It was up, up, up at South Hill, you know, it's just mm-hmm. a fucking nightmare by the mall mm-hmm. all the time. And so I have my blinker. I'm like, oh, shit, I need to get in the turn lane. And so he stopped. I'm like, right, he, he stops as if he's going to receive my lane change. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, okay. So he stops. I'm like, all right, I, I waited for like a few seconds and I went, and the second I went, he's laying on the fucking horn. Me, 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 me. He's fucking flipping me off. I'm like, dude, you fucking let me in. And then after like a few seconds, I'm like, okay, I get out and I fucking flip him back off. And then we're just fucking doing that whole thing. And then afterwards, I'm, I get, I pull off the light. I'm like, oh, that was crazy. And then I get, I pull in the parking lot. And then I, I remember I, I park and then I, because the drive through was long as shit. I'm like, oh, I'll just go inside. I'm getting, I'm just getting a fucking frosty. And so I pull in and then I fucking, I'm on my phone for a second. And then. I hear a car pull up next to me, but I'm just thinking it's a different fucking person getting yeah. Wendy's. You know, what other person has this great idea on this great day to get a Frosty? <laughs> and so I'm just, I pull in and I fucking, I'm sitting there and I, it's a truck. And I'm like, in, in the back of my mind, I'm like, what if it was that fucking guy? <laughs> like, wouldn't that be crazy? And then I'm sitting there, I'm like, I look over and it's the fucking dude. And it's just, just fucking probably like mid forties, just oh, no. fucking huge fat guy. I mean, picture like the, a lot of the chubby dudes who like, who walk around Boston with the chains and like the backwards mm. hat, wear their shirts in the pool, hats in the pool kind of guys. And gotcha. so he gets out and he fucking boom, 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 boom. I'm like, there's no fucking way this is that guy. He's like, you motherfucker. And I get, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then we get, we're just, we're like fucking right here. <laughs> and at this point, the thing is, it's like, I wasn't trying, I, I wasn't even thinking about it. I wasn't trying to get into a fight. I just legitimately was angry that he had the balls to fucking chase me down like I did something wrong when I knew it was fucking him. And then at this point, I just thought it was going to be a chirp off. So we're fucking sitting here chirping. We're fucking here. Boots on the ground, face to face. And we're, 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 I don't even know what the fuck I said. I just remember cussing him out. He's cussing me out. And then he fucking grabs me by the collar like he's going to steal my lunch money. And he grabs me and then I fucking bam. And then he bam. And then we're fucking duking out in the parking lot. And then, because we're like right by the window, we're like right by the fucking windows. And then this this fucking Wendy's manager comes out in his fucking apron. Whoa, 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 whoa. And he fucking brings out, I'm calling the fucking cops. And then they pull us off. And then I fucking go in and get my fucking Frosty. You still got your Frosty? Yeah, I got my Frosty. Where did he go? He fucking left because he didn't want the cops called. So we just called it good. All right, good fight. Later. Damn. That was it. <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. I love when you're fucking driving and you flip someone off, but then like you get out of the light and you're like, mm, mm, and it's like, what do I do after this? Well, the, <laughs> like, well, no the funniest part is in most cases, it's like you drive off, you're pussy. Yeah. And then like you drive, but you never see him again. But in my case, I ran right into him. Maybe he was going to Wendy's too. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was just, it, ha- it was happenstance. Yeah. Well, I think it was Sam Morell that said that one joke. It was like fucking every time, you know, someone cuts you off or you do something, you know, doesn't matter what race stereotype the second you fucking pass them, like, I fucking knew it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Well, sometimes I've done that. It's not who I expected it to be. But it's, a, I don't Usually know. I expect it, their style. It's like, okay, they're obviously old. And then most of the time, yep, they're fucking old. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I was going to say it all. <laughs> I was going to say they're old. There was a, we just watched an American dad where uh, Principal Lewis hits Stan in his, like right outside the school and just randomly he hits him and then Roger just goes, Asia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh. funny. Like, what, what are white stereotypes? <sighs> like, because we can't really talk about the other ones. Uh, what, do, uh, what does a white woman make for dinner? Reservations. Reservations, that's a good one. Well, that's a joke. Like, stereotypes. Like That could be, a, that's definitely a stereotype. Yeah. Oh, like white women don't cook or like work. <laughs> no, I'm saying like, what are the, what is the stereotype? Well, I don't know. I'm saying, have you ever heard of like, what do you, what do people say? Like what, when people t- like when 
ethnic people talk of their mothers, there is a correlation between ethnicity and good cooking. Yeah. Especially in Mexicans. Especially in <clears throat> everything ethnic, actually. Latin, right? all of them. All mm-hmm. mothers are usually just amazing cooks, and it's mm-hmm. a very known thing. Mm-hmm. Not to say white. It's not. I'm just saying it's, 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 it's a very... Mm-hmm common thing there as much as it's hit or miss in the white community I feel like <laughs> so I just looked up some white stereotypes one was they can't jump very high this one's actually true they never leave haunted places at the first sign of paranormal activity that shit pisses me oh, off yeah. every scary movie it's like it's like they're driving a car in a clown sitting well, there the with shit that pisses me off is like fucking ghost hunters dude I hate that like they have Demi Lovato singing to it <laughs> Like and and this is Man. and the, the the coolest part about that is this is this is like hot spoon Demi Lovato. This is she, this, <laughs> this is what well, this isn't sober Demi. So like <laughs> <laughs> this is in the trenches Demi dude, and she's singing to which are obviously fucking fake ghosts and shit. Because I, I don't care what you say, ghost hunters have been how many fucking a hundred seasons and they've seen nothing. And they've played back GameCube set audio recordings. Demi Lovato. Oh my god! You should sing something to me. You should sing something to her, no. Demi. Why not? Well, I always sing skyscraper when I feel. Sure. She's high. She's just got to be high. Do you have to make me feel like there's nothing? Dude, all, all the ghosts are just the, the funniest, the ghosts the, the are just funniest part there. is like they got they got like the night vision on <laughs> and they just see her and this, yeah, yeah. it's fucking Lovato sings to ghosts to help them overcome trauma caused by sexism. <clears throat> How the fuck do they tell you that? It's so stupid. I hate that shit, dude. I hate that show. Like I don't understand. It just pisses me off. Here's the thing: is have they ever caught a ghost? Like they're I, hunting. Well, I don't think you can catch a ghost. Well, in like a in like an urn. You can't just put a bear trap out and catch a ghost. Well, it's like you know, like a <laughs> cauldron or like okay, a yeah. or like no, a no. <laughs> no. Or, but I'm saying ghosts. There are, are vessels. The point of that is to like get proof. And every time it's just that little fucking audio recorder, they throw shit on. It's like, holy shit, play it in reverse. He just said he was killed on that staircase in 1892. Holy shit, this is a breakthrough. It was Professor Plum. Yeah, and it's fucking, it's something stupid. And it's like, and okay, here's the thing. Do I believe, in theory, that there are places that have demons and weird supernatural shit? Yes. Absolutely. Do I think? <laughs> do I think that these guys, <laughs> the with their you. podcast equipment and a couple of fucking X-ray cameras or whatever, the night vision goggles that they probably got on Amazon, found these ghosts and got these audio recordings and thought, "Wow, I'm gonna make a show and present it." And how many times are you? How many seasons is there? Fucking hundreds, hundreds of episodes. How many? Where is it? How many times can you get lucky and get them on fucking camera and audio? There's no way. I'm sorry. But they don't get them, It's though. the same thing with, like, the Bigfoot Hunter show. It's like, oh, holy shit, we got him this time. That, that, that's the teaser for the next one. They never do. <laughs> they just find a different track that the intern came the day before and stamped in the mud. And it's like, whoa. Whoa. It doesn't make sense. I fucking hate it, dude. And the fact that people are so gullible is insane. It's. <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot. No, that was a lot to take in. My mom was, like, a big Bigfoot person. We actually went to, like. Do I think that maybe, maybe there is? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not saying there isn't anything all like the, it. With all the equipment we have now. I That's why I hate about the UFO shit. It's like, dude, everyone's walking around with a fucking HD camera in their pocket. And it's like, are you telling me not one person has a fucking decent... But then we do see the footage and it's like on a fucking flip camera. It's Yeah, it is. It literally is on like a Samsung slide. <laughs> and I'm like... what? <laughs> dude, I, I actually went to the Bigfoot like sighting thing in Wait, what? Oregon. <laughs> Yeah, my mom was a big Bigfoot fan, and she was, like, going to catch him or some shit. And I'm like, with what? Like, a big net? <laughs> like, okay, what happens if you find Bigfoot? Like, Yeah, what's the best case? I mean, you have to kill it. What, do you fucking put him in an ankle lock and then I got him? I mean, okay, at, th- at that point, it's you or him. Like, I mean. Well, maybe he can be reasoned with. Here's the thing. Because he's, like, half human. Does he have human rights? You know what they say about big feet? Big, big socks. Oh. Oh. Big cock and sock. Big vagina. <laughs> um, no, like, because it's like half human. So does it have like human rights? Is that going to be like a fucking homicide? Imagine you go to no, prison it's forever. Not, it's not a human being. It's not? We talked about this in the car, but remember? Apparently, oh, we're not yeah, going to get into all that. Yeah. Like, not going to get into all that. But I will yeah. say this. Yeah, no, of course. No, it's not. Yeah. 
<clears throat> um, yeah, well, actually, we're not going to bring that up. But yeah, very interesting. Um, but no, yeah, I would say with the with the ghost hunter shit. Here's the thing: it's always like the teaser for the next episode is like the HVAC system comes on and the audio wave goes up, or like it's a little like oh, a little dot, and then they're all like, oh, like, I feel it. And it's like, no, what you feel right now is anticipation, and you're looking for something that isn't there, and then you get all fucking excited. When if you weren't looking for ghosts, you would have saw the same thing and been like, it's Paranormal not a Paranormal scammers have been around for centuries, dude. <clears throat> Before them, it was the people in the tents who had fish, fishing string running from the top drawer all the way to this candle that lit this candle that opened that drawer when they're sitting there holding it. It's just, you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. What? They've had paranormal scammers have been a thing. For oh, fucking scammers. Okay. I'm saying scammers. Like they have a, a little piece of string that runs all the way over here. And they're sitting in the circle. Oh, my God. Huh, I'm talking to your mother. I, 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 I see her. I know she's dead, but she misses you. And it's just like, what the fuck? What I want to do is. So what's what's hard to figure out is that some of that shit is real and it's very scary and whatever. 90 90 percent of the shit we see is not real. Right? I, agree, I agree. Yeah. I want to find someone who like everyone thinks is real. Tell them nothing, and I want specifics. I don't want that generality of, like, your mom probably loved you. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> every mother does to some degree. She probably experienced pain. Yeah. There was, there was pain in your childbirth. I'm like, yeah, probably. Yeah, but yeah. I want to, like, go in there with nothing and be like, tell me what I ate for dinner yesterday. And then I would be worried if they had everything right then. If they did, then I would ask them for, like, tomorrow's lottery numbers or something. I don't think it could, does that. See, but. that's what I don't understand. They can get all this other shit, but like, tell me what the tell me about Nvidia, not yeah. Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, fuck, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, we're at thirty. All right. Well, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for listening. Uh, uh, sorry. Thank you for listening, uh, James. Where can they find you? They can find me at Jack underscore Spence. I should stop saying that because I got another foot request today, but. Um, Z, where can they find you? Well, they can find me as a underscore Lesney on in Instagram or both of our Instagrams at the Around the Lunch Table Instagram page. Um, yeah, that's all we got. So thanks for listening. We will see you next week. And, and see ya. ya. Let's get rowdy up in here.